what is CHAMS basically? What is CHAMS into? What are the products and services like? CHAMS is a group of companies now. We, in the entire group, we are into two key areas. Uh, one is identity management. The other one is an e-payment uh, solution for the country. Um, we have a couple of companies, there are six companies in the group, uh, making up the group. Uh, but all the companies in the group are concentrating and focusing on identity management and e-payment uh, technologies. Okay, in Curiosities, uh, what is the Charms Varsity and um, online business information landscape all about, especially the Charms Varsity? Because there is a button like that on your website and what is it about? How has it been functioning? Okay, the Charms Varsity is basically a training institution which we hope in the future we grow to become a university. Uh, in the area that we intervene and interact in the country, which is identity and payments, we do not have good training facilities. And it's an emerging uh, territory. We strongly believe that for people to catch on to identity management and also e-payment, they need to be trained. And that's why we formed the Chance Varsity to train bankers, people that are into uh, financial transactions, to also train the government state governments and federal governments on the importance of identity management. So, Chancellor City is set up as a training and manpower development institution. Our online business is a little bit different, and that's when you are looking at Nara.com, whereby you can undertake an e-commerce transaction. And our main focus on that Nara.com is actually the ticketing. Uh, when you want to travel, you go to Nara.com, and you can buy your ticket online. So, the Chancellor City training and manpower development. However, Nara.com, the online uh, portal, is for e-commerce and transactions mainly. Okay. Concerning the varsity, now, the Champs Varsity, uh, is that an online thing or it's a one-on-one -on -one or physical um, training um, platform? It's a physical training platform. We have um, facilities in Lagos, Atikaja, Abuja in the central uh, uh, district, uh, central business district, and also in Patakot, so three different uh, facilities nationwide where people can go in for physical training, one-to-one -one training. We have a different online training portal. We have uh, a relationship with Blackboard, whereby people can do online training. But that we offer corporate bodies like uh, FIRS or universities. Uh, they install or implement that within their uh, facilities. But for Chance Varsity, it's mainly for people to come into those facilities and be trained through so a physical uh, interaction with the tutors. Um, the Nigerian equity market, of course, for some time now has you know, trailed that part of global financial um, meltdown and all the names that it is called. How has it affected Champs BLC? Yes, of course, it will be very well affected. Uh, by the global downturn on, of events on uh, the stock markets generally, and it's still continuing uh, since 2008. Um, our prices uh, took a lot of beating. The stock uh, went down and almost flat for the past couple of uh, months due to um, apathy to the market. Not many people want to invest in the stock market right now because across board people took massive beating. Uh, that is a general excuse for anybody on the stock exchange. But for us, we believe it's a little bit more than just the general uh, worldwide downturn. We strongly believe that chance is a little bit different and that we should be different in the market because we have products, we have solutions that are very, very needed in the market. Now, we've been quiet in the past uh, two to three years for good reason. We've been trying to build a lot of infrastructures. We had some delays in a particular infrastructure, and that's our switching platform, which is very, very key to most of the things uh, we've been doing. Uh, but fortunately, by December 2010, that particular infrastructure came up. It came online. and. Um, i give you an example. Before 2009, uh, we didn't have any bank connected to us. Uh, before t December 2010, we didn't have any bank connected to us uh, for our e-payment uh, business. 
But between January 2011 and August 2011, we have, we have 16 banks connected. By December 2010, we only had one state connected to us, which is not national state. Today, we have about seven states connected to us. You can imagine the volume of transactions that we're going to start experiencing with all this connection to the switch. Now, that's the fact that that switch platform did not go live. Uh, 2008, 2009, and 2010 affected our performance generally within the group. But now that that particular key infrastructure is going live, we strongly believe that the future is very, very bright. Now, with that infrastructure going live now, we can start a lot of announcements to the market. There are a lot of things that we've done. There are a lot of solutions that are coming on in the market. There are a lot of partnerships that we've signed that we refuse to announce to the market, which will have affected our pricing upward, but we refused to do that until we were very, very sure of where we are. So for us, generally, the economic downturn worldwide affected us, but not really so much as the internal issues that we had, which fortunately for us, we will overcome now, and then the future is very, very bright for us now. So is it all about partnership, not um, divestment to make, um, to enhance uh, profitability? It's going to be both. We, we're going to have divestment and we're going to have a partnership. What we've been trying to do with uh, our subsidiaries um, is to grow them onto the level whereby the market will see a lot of value in them. And once they see the value and they come to us, we can then uh, divest. Uh, but more importantly for us, for the shareholders to see a lot of value uh, in our stock, will be the transactions that are going to be taking place on a lot of our platforms and solutions. Uh, like I said, a critical bit of the puzzle has been resolved. Now, a lot of those uh, transactional channels are now ready to go live. You're looking at uh, the ATMs, uh, you're looking at the point of sale terminals, the Champ Cities, um, the web portals, the Champs Mobile. They are all ready to go live now because that critical infrastructure is live. So it's going to be two ways. One transactional based on a uh, continuous stream of uh, revenues and an income that we're going to be generating uh, from our infrastructure. The other one will be divestment from our subsidiaries in the coming uh, quarters and years. We get several queries and comments on our investment community. What's your word of advice or clarification basically to investors? We believe a lot of those comments are justified. Uh, we haven't released a lot of information to the market for the simple reason that we are busy building those infrastructures. The infrastructures are ready now. We are ready to release uh, those information uh, to the market. Uh, and we strongly believe that the more uh, the informed investors get to hear about what we are doing, the more positive their comments, the more positive the action will be towards at the champs uh, stock. Um, they should just be on the lookout for the good results, for the good announcements that you're going to be making in the next couple of days and weeks. And that we, we shall uh, change their minds about investing in technology stock and especially in champ stock. We believe we're going to delight our investors, uh, not just the corporate investors, but also the uh, individual investors. Um, for those who that invested pre-2009, we want them to stay faith. For the new ones, uh, now is the time to buy the champ stock because a lot of positive things are going to happen. The um, BDO professional services that was appointed later as the official auditor, we were to prepare the whole um, half-year results for the financial business. Okay, we appointed them more for 2011 full year results, not the half year. We're going to do an interim account at the end of October, just so that our 2011 results, which ends December 31, will be ready latest Q1 uh, March 2012. We'd like to have uh, that result declared to the exchange by the end of Q1 2012. And that's one of the major reasons why we brought them. The second reason is that uh, they're going to become a group auditor 
they're going to audit all the companies in the group and that way we're not going to have delays uh, from any group you're going to have uni uniformity we also brought them for a third reason which is very, very crucial to us that's the IFRS standardization uh, we want a company that will be able to get implement that for us before the end of the year which you uh, got started so that our 2011 is going to be reported based on IFRS. So those are the three key reasons why our BDO was brought in to replace uh, AWD. AWD did quite well for us in the past uh, uh, more than 10 years. They, they actually were with us for about 15 years. Uh, SEC came out with certain regulations that said after 10 years they needed to go. So um, we had a tender and AWD had to resign and we brought in BD video for that purpose. With all of this developments, with all of these projects, what are your words of encouragement to investors? We strongly believe that the Champs, uh, Champs PLC performance by the end of 2011 is going to be very, very good, it's going to be very, very strong. Uh, we strongly believe that investors should stay uh, faith with us, they should stay on uh, technology stocks and most especially Champs. Um, there are a lot of projects currently going on. Uh, I mentioned one of them. Central Bank uh, recently came out with a cashless policy uh, to limit the amount of cash that people can withdraw uh, from January. We believe this policy is going to positively affect our charms. It's going to affect our performance. We are very well positioned towards helping the financial institutions, towards helping Central Bank, towards uh, in implementing that particular policy either in the deployment of uh, point of sale terminals or ATMs or cards or switching platform, we are very well positioned. Uh, the National ID Card project on identity is coming on very well, very strong. Uh, we have started the pilot in six locations in the country that we're going to announce on the floor of the stock exchange uh, shortly. Um, it's also going to have enormous uh, impact on the way the average Nigerian tra transact business, the issue of KYC is going to be very important for financial transactions. Simple things like um, identity for the police, for the driver's license, to complex thing like, uh, things like preventing uh, bombs, you need identity and your company Champs is heavily involved with all those uh, uh, transactions and you're going to see us being very, very active, declaring positive results based on all these. Uh, activities and transactions. So, a uh, word of advice again is that investors should just be optimistic about the champ stocks. Hopefully it will take off from 51 cover. There is no doubt. We are pretty sure, uh, based on the announcements we are going to have in September, October and for the rest of the year, and the results, most importantly, the results we are going to be declaring, that stock will not remain 50 cover, 51 cover for too long. Shortly we are going to start making waves. We strongly believe that this, the stock um, we get to levels not seen in the past um, two years and it's going to be a positive one. Right, so I believe you know so well sir, that um, um, of late um, retail investors have retracted from the markets. Now what is the um, investment, investment relations platform that Champs has put in place to draw back this retracted um, investors? investors that are still active. The best platform we believe we can give to the market will be our results and letting the market know what we are doing that we generate those results. We refuse to speculate in the past couple of months and actually in two years about what we are doing because we've been trying to build infrastructures and it's taking a while for these infrastructures to be online. And it, an analogy I always I use is uh, when you are building an express road, it takes a while for that express road to be constructed for it to come on stream. But once it comes on stream and you pull that toll gate on it, you just start collecting revenue on that. So what Champs has done in the past couple of months and years is to build a lot of infrastructure. Now those infrastructures are start, they get into the level where you can now produce toll gates and start at generating revenue for our, our stakeholders. So 
instead of uh, publicity givings, uh, we do not want to get into that. We're going to announce real and present projects that our stakeholders will see. We're talking of national ID, SIM registration, the cashless uh, policy by CBN, the, the impact that they're going to have on, on our results. Stakeholders can see this, they can interpret it. And then when we release our Q3 and our Q4 or our 2011 results, they can see it and they cannot make a positive judgment on us. We're not going to sell the coming on Otier. We're going to sell the coming based on actual results, based on actual performance.